Hello and welcome back to Aragorn in the Middle Earth Project. So, let's continue expanding. We're moving into Minas uh, Imris next, and basically the plan here is we're going to take them, and take Belos, then we're probably going to end up at Karis. I'm thinking we're leaving the Shire alone for just now, just because it's going to be a pain to fight. I mean, realistically, the men aren't going to be a pain. The problem is each province actually has reasonable sized garrisons compared to our sized army. So I think we get more out of these small single province wars because we can more easily crush the entire army and take all the land in kind of one go. So I think that works a little bit better. Maybe we want to attack these guys as well. I mean, we're going to attack them anyway because I think they're in a defensive pact. Yeah, we still we don't have a truce with them, do we? No. They have a truce of us. Uh, so that's 600. Uh, 600. Yeah, we can take them. There we are. The Clara War. They're not even going to come over, so... Why am I even worried about it? Right. Uh, raise up our men. Uh, these guys, we're going to disband. And we're going to raise them up over here. So the three of you are going to head up there. These guys... going to head down here. We should be pretty good. Yeah. They're, they're going to merge up as well. They actually are... No, they're coming for this army. 11th of April. So yeah, they would catch it. So we'll disband it. That's fine. Don't need to worry about it. Let these armies uh, merge up onto this one. That's fine. There's another army over here that we just really don't need to worry about. Right. So we probably want to either head north or into their army. So we either want to choose to merge or head directly in. Heading in seems like a positive thing. This is like a proper river, isn't it? That's not proper. That's like a that's like a sea tile river. So we're good there. If we attack in, we'll probably destroy them. Yeah, we'll we'll absolutely annihilate them. So this is like we're fighting with 2.5 times more men. Is there a river crossing? Yeah, but that's at minus 10%. So with our plus 250%, it's not really a problem. If we're doing that, then what we probably want to do is just send that entire army right down here to Angroth. There we are. And I'll work out for us. We're, of course, leading the center still, which means that our army is even better. Oh, we got free gold. Nice. We almost have enough for the building we want. Right. There goes that army. That should be a nice amount of war score. It's 27%. We're going to head down to Minas Emrith. I'm going to send the other army over to siege a different province. So we'll wait and see how that goes. They're probably heading to Balost now, I would reckon. We'll see. Yeah, they're heading up to Balost. That's all right. Uh, our army should merge up. And actually, they're heading one more. They're heading to Argon, I think. Yeah. That's good. In which case, we'll move everyone directly into their province. That's fine. Don't need to worry about it. This province is almost taken. Which is, like, real good. It's going really quickly. Um, yep, we merged up. You're making people not like other people. Kind of what I'm after. Uh, yeah, a lot of, like, war score there. How's everything else looking? Yeah, about the same. About the same. Okay. Uh, so. Defensive pact opposing us is disbanded, apparently. Whatever. I mean, we can't really see our threat either. It must just have, a, like, a really high decay rate or something like that. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to attack in with that army, even though I think there's another army coming. If we catch them, good. If we don't catch them, we scare them away. So that's about what I'm after. Where are you heading? You're heading to Belost. I'm not worried about that. I kind of want them to attack in so we can defend the attack. Nah, they're heading all the way around for their province. Right, we're moving in. We're going to merge our armies up now. And we can probably either siege or fight for the win. I think I'm going to fight. So heading down here for the 29th. We'll wait till the 28th. There we go. 28th. We'll head in here. Speed it up. And we should catch them. 17th, 20th. They have a um, maneuver leader, I think. Which will make them go quicker. That's alright. We don't need to worry about it. We'll still catch them on their province. Which is pretty much the same deal. They're not even moving, so we will destroy them completely and utterly. That's going to be our war score for this um, war done. Hopefully. There we go. Completely and utterly. The center held for a while, but yeah, not a chance. 
We even captured their leader to just rub salt into the wounds. We'll offer peace in enforced demands that'll teach them for attacking us a few episodes back. Um, actually, they'll care about us. They'd prefer to be on the council, though. We're improving as our marshal. Our marshal's already a powerful vassal, though. Um, and that's really all he's good at, so I'm not really worried about that. We could put him underneath uh, this guy, which might work out well for us. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put him underneath this guy. Just to get rid of him as a problem. What's his name? His name is Dlin. Okay. Uh, right, I want to give you Dlin. Dlin. There we are. The uh, reason I want to do that is that guy is now going to be a powerful vassal in this area. And he's going to cause the, he's going to cause our spy master some problems. Hopefully a few civil wars and things that go wrong. That's kind of what we're looking for. So this guy has 2,000 troops. He has 3,000 troops now, actually. That would be a real tough war for us to win. But I'm tempted to go for it. Oh, I do want to upgrade this province to our next castle forge. I'll get us a little more money. Basically, I'm just trying to increase our income to the point where it starts to self-sustain. It's taking a while to get there. Like, I want the point where we have too much money. Then we can just build in all of our provinces and upgrade these eight provinces we're allowed to hold. Uh, we have a claim on Helm's Deep for um, this person. Is this Helm's Deep? Uh, it says we have a claim. Oh, no, she is of Hel Helm's Deep. Oh, it does say claim Helm's Deep. Where is Helm's Deep? Is it? I thought it was in, like, this area. I would imagine. No idea. Uh, there is actually a search, isn't there? That's not a search. I barely even, ever use a search. Eh, so, Helm's Deep. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. You see? How could I not have spotted this province? I knew it was going to be over here somewhere. Yeah, uh, I don't really want to attack them though because they've got 50,000 men. How did they get 43,000 event spawn troops? What? What event spawned them? What's happening to these guys? Um, they're defending against a subjugation war by uh, Kand. Ooh, interesting. So yeah, Mordor are being uh, hassled by uh, the people from their south. That's good. Right, it'd be good if we could actually merge up our land a little bit, actually. So if we could take some land off of this guy, I'd appreciate it. Is this good land here, or is this all, it's all trash? Yeah, I'd like to take it, but it's all trash. That's the problem. I mean, this one's not bad. This one looks reasonable. Um, it's a player war. Uh, we could take that. We, if we take the center, actually, there. We still get mostly trash land, but... Yeah, it's still mostly trash land. But it's a lot more of it. Splits up their land pretty nicely. I'm tempted to do that. Just to declare for the center. They do have 2,000 troops, though. That's kind of our issue. Then we have the same issue we have with them, with the Shire. Um... If we wanted to attack Mordor, this would be the time. There's, there's 76 troops there. I think as a tributary... Uh, we'll adopt that. I think as a tributary, they are protected by their liege, but their liege's tributaries do not join the war. So we could do it as long as they only have trash land, which it looks like they do. So that could be a nice, easy war for us if we want to head north. Like all their land is trash. That's not the worst idea I've ever had. Also takes them off our border, which I quite appreciate. And it gets us into this land, which is not Mordor, but is, um, you know, it is like orc land that we can take and it's not trash. Like it's easy to take and it's not trash. I think that pretty much describes what we should go for. So this guy, he only has the tributary, so he would be at War of Sauron. No, he wouldn't. Wait, no ally would join on his side. I thought a tribute... So I guess he just wouldn't join. Interesting. Interesting. wonder why. So we could take those four. That would be pretty good. Those two are all right, but not... But those two are, like, if we really want them off our border, which I don't care... Those four seem like the best choices. Although they're all wilderness, so maybe... 
Yeah, actually, this land's pretty bad. The land up there is good. This land's bad. So we'll, we'll take those four provinces. That seems reasonable. We'll declare our war. Uh, I want that land. Did anyone join on their side? No, interesting. I thought that the uh, overlord would join. I guess not. Uh, we can disband that army and move it one province over. There we go. Uh, we'll merge up here. Uh, I do want you to take like this path through, just so you don't walk directly in. There we go. We're going to march directly on their capital as our first move. Kind of a power play here. And that works. Ah, actually pushing back against the realms of evil. We're a little bit ill, but, you know, we're 131. We're, we do have a lot of positive health traits. We have the true blood, which is 10 health. We have the uh, air of a sealed door, which is 7. Um, we have, like, we have 18 positive health at the very least. It's not that much of a problem. The only problem there with having that much health. I'm trying to think. It's like working out when you die. I usually go for my rough estimate, right? Very rough estimate. It's it's probably a little bit lowballing it, but that's usually a good way to calculate these kind of things. Is that every one health is about 10 years of life, right? So if you have the base five health, you're gonna live 50 years, which is kind of a good base, roughly. It's not quite right. Like, it doesn't quite add up that way, but it works out en enough that way that it works for the math, the, the quick math. So if we have like 18 positive health, plus assuming that we start with five base and we don't start with more, which we very well, well might start with more than five, because these are like proper named character things. We'll probably live like 230 years-ish. I think the older you get though, the less health matters and that's where the calculation kind of falls down, but I think that's roughly it. So yeah, we're pretty good. Just, okay, so you did call Sauron in. We, we kind of expected that, but what we're, what we're hoping is that Sauron's busy. Which he does appear like he's busy. He, he's busy getting his ass handed to him down there. So we're good. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually, there are a few pockets. It does look like the... Um, oh no, that's all Mordor directly. At first thing there, I thought that was more tributary, but that's all Mordor directly. So that's good. Um, hopefully he doesn't bring 57,000 troops over here and ignore the other war. That's kind of the, um, that's a negative of this plan. Other negative is that it's likely going to make this guy unlikely to want to surrender unless we get 100% war score because, well, he's got 50,000 troops and we don't. But we can assault that down. Let's see how much we got. We got zero war score for sieging that province, for instance. Yeah. So, we need all of his land if we want to, like, take, win this, I think. Probably. I'm going to let the armies merge up before I do anything. In fact, we might want a carpet siege. Let's head over here. Let's start carpet sieging a little bit. It's not a total carpet siege, but a little bit of carpet sieging never hurt anyone. Right. Uh, these armies... Why don't you head up to Nothros? There we go. Uh, we can deal with that army when it gets here. Right. We want to assault... I was worried it crashed there. I'm going to assault that down. We can assault everything down. We actually got more war score from that one. Maybe the first province we uh, did was just trash. Cultural tech points? Don't care. 100% do not care about cultural tech points. Uh, yeah. Just merge into that province. You, you can go directly there, can't you? Guess not. Weird. I thought that was 100% uh, a path, but it's not. Merge up. Does reset the movement, but at least it means they're merged. Um... I'm actually going to move this army along a couple. Just if we're carpet sieging, it's probably better to do it that way. Uh, and then we can split up the armies as we go. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this army round about there. And might go one further, actually. I might split this into three. Okay, I could split them there, I suppose. We only have two armies here. Well, that, that makes my choice a little bit easier. One's 12. Okay. So that army can only siege by itself. So I'm going to move it along there. Um, here, I'd like a new unit of, um, how many men do we need to siege? A hundred. Okay. Uh, so we can just, yeah, what am I talking about? We're just going to assault it all. You know what? Wait, wait, wait for me, army. 
I've changed my mind on my strategy. I think we can just assault it all. And that saves us having to carpet siege. In fact, we can't even, because some of these provinces aren't trash. There we go. Siege that one then. Uh, we need to siege this one because it's in the war goal as well. Which is probably... Yeah. It's probably good that we're not getting all bad provinces. Right. Continue sieging. What else have we got? We built our f another forge. That's nice. We can get another castle for uh, castle town next. Although we need wooden palisades so that we can't actually get that one yet. How much are we making per month? Only two, but we do have a lot of expenses. But we're still making money, which is the important bit. Okay. We're pushing this down. There are some defensive packs disbanding. Um, looks like Mordor isn't coming currently. I don't see any armies moving. Although I wouldn't because there's fog of war anyway. But I don't see any like at the bottom side of our borders. And even if they come, they're probably not going to come and desiege the land. They're probably going to come and siege our land. Which is fine because we can win war without a single bit of land. Like we can win the war without having any of our land. Like they could hold all but our one province of our land. And we could still win the war by sieging all of this. So that's fine. Um, although it's going pretty slowly. Unless we got a bad siege event. Oh yeah, we did get a bad siege event. See, I told you. Um, the rest of this is pretty bad, right? There's one more good province, then it's all bad. So that, that's that's fine. Um, we're almost there. The city, could we might be able to assault the city down. In fact, we can, definitely. Next one is another one of these. Oh, it's just going to take a while. That's fine. Hopefully they get some bad siege events and everything goes well. I think, unfortunately, we are going to have to siege it all to get the, the war score we need. It's kind of rolling the dice. It's can we siege quicker than Mordor can get over here and, like, get out of their other war. If they actually come over here, we probably white peace the moment they appear. Like, we white peace, disappear back into our old lands, never to mention of this, like, this again. So, that's fine. Uh, some non-aggression packs are breaking. Don't really care about it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Talking of that, this probably... Well, we're going to have like one more episode before the backlog's done. Um, but this last episode before the weekend, so I'll probably get some time to read some comments. So, do you think we should break our pact with um, Eowyn? I don't think the event's going to fire. It is Eowyn, isn't it? Something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Should we break this pact, this vow? I mean... There's no real negative as far as I can see. And there's no way that we can actually... Like, the event chain's not going to fire for us to marry her, I don't think. Unless it just fires on a specific date. In which case, I wonder what the date is. Because we've been playing for a while. Like, in terms of game time. Have we? We have, haven't we? Oh, well, yeah. That, that would, doesn't really help because we were already ruling when we took over. I don't know what the actual game start date was. You could probably tell. Uh, there was probably an event on the start of the game, wasn't there? Um, well, I mean, what would help us a lot in telling, actually, is, um, did Frodo not... Frodo held the Hob Hobbiton, didn't he? Uh, I think that Frodo held that before, yeah, so... That is... Yeah, about 40 years game time, so... You know, it should have fired by now if it was gonna fire. We could assault that down. It's getting tempting. 6.9% is very tempting to assault down. Um, I'm going to leave it, but it's tempting. I'd probably be more more anxious to do it if I saw, like, Mordor down here. I'd be like, assault and move, assault and move, but not quite. Not quite in that situation yet. What's worrying is if they come out of the fog out here and just destroy us. That's a possibility. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to focus on their other war. That's basically what we're rolling the dice on. Two ticks there. That's unfortunate, but that's fine. We're going to get it. Uh, hopefully. If the game's also save doesn't crash. Which it didn't. Right? You would like me to teach... Right, you would like to teach all of these people how to be flankers. No. Definitely not. Because you want a favor. And even though favors aren't really useful for very much, given we have no children, and we never change council laws, you know... It's still something. That assault button, so tempting. So tempting. Basically just scouring our borders, seeing if there was anybody around. 
game really doesn't perform very well when you're at max speed scaring the borders. In case you don't know, the game pretty much, when you when you go to max speed here, what it does is that that's not a set speed. That, like, max speed is not a set speed, it's just whatever your CPU can handle. In fact, I don't think any of the speeds are set. I could be wrong about that. But I think they're pretty much just levels that they're going to tax your CPU. So, I see, I think levels before max are probably set, aren't they? That makes more sense. I don't see how they could do it otherwise. Anyway, salt that one down. But yeah, basically, max, they just, they just go, hey, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna use as much power as we can get. That's fine. A host claim took over Barlon. Where is Barlon? Or Balorn, never mind. Uh, oh, offer peace, they surrender. Cool, I'll take that land. That looks a lot better. Wait, and one guy's in charge of it? Or how did this guy get in charge of all that land? Ramus for who is this? Oh, maybe he he held the duchy underneath the other guy. That's a possibility, actually. Um, he did. He is uh, under men who serve the Witch King. I could demand his religious conversion, which I think is a good start. Over our vassal limit by one. We can probably sort that. Let's wait a second. Defensive pack's back. Um, oh. This guy refused to convert in a twist that I never saw coming. And then Isengard attacked with 18,000 men. What are they attacking for? They want us to pay tribute. I was going to end the episode. But actually, you know what? This is death or glory. We either win this or we lose. I think that's pretty much the way we're playing, so... Let's head down with our army. We have as many men as we can muster, I think. We have a few more vassal levies we can get from this new one, actually. And then we just go head down south. We do have some retinues we can buy? Yeah. We'll buy four more knights, and they can meet us up here. Or four more regiments. So that's 200 more. I don't know if we can beat them. They have a lot of men. We we have stronger fighters. It's like the ultimate test of our uh, army, really. It's can we cope against such overwhelming odds? Okay. Let's have a look here. We can buy mercenaries, but we can't afford the cost. I think the retinues were overall better because they're going to reinforce by the time we get there. I don't know. It's probably 50-50 on whether the retinues or the mercenaries were better. It depends how long we think the war is going to last, really. Um... We want... I know where I went where I went in here. We want... Well, one, we want an advisor in our free advisor slot. Because why wouldn't we take that? There we go. And two, uh, we want a better commander. Like, we want better commanders down here. So we're going to get rid of our 10. And replace it with a 22. There we go. Uh, and we're going to get rid of this 11. Place it with a 30. That's about the best we got. Uh, we'll put in 22, so we got 33, 19, 22. Do we have the best men in the center? Pretty much. I kind of want to put another set of those guys in the center there. There we go. We do have 71 down south that apparently didn't come with us previously. That's fine. We can merge up here. I think we got to take him at the river. Although that's not a river. This is the river, but we could still take him there. I don't know. They're just ru he's just rushing into our land, sieging us down. Okay. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of strategical stuff we can do. We've really just got to take fight while when he has the least number of men. If we could win it, that's going to give us a lot of war score for one battle. We could probably white piece him if we could win this. That's the thing. If we could win this. Let's think about it. We have Heavy Cavalry, who are the best troops in the game, I think. Like, best standard troops, nothing special. We also have incredibly high troop combat values. If we could find the right fight, we're looking good. Um, I'm going to threaten him unless he stays out of factions. There we go. I don't know why I did that. We don't have any factions. I want to take him. I'm going to sit here and wait for him. I'm going to be patient. He's going to come for us over the river. I'm ready. 
I think we can do it. Where's his army? Oh, it went down south again? No, there's got to be 8,000 heading for us, right? Where's he? He's down south. It has left us. Well, we've got to take the fight to them then, don't we? I mean, if they won't come to us, we can't let them just attack our, like, lands for nothing. Attack it in Marsh. Are marshes good for us? I can't remember whether marshes are good. I don't think they are. I think marshes are nothing in CK2. I get confused between different Paradox games with specifics, that things that I don't really encounter very much. Unless marshes are something different. Hills are probably our best shot. Like, if we head into this neutral land in these hills, that's probably a good shot for us. There's 13,000 men. My god. Uh, that's not quite what I was looking for here. Hills might be good for us. I think we wait for them in hills. We just sit here. We know it's going to work. You took... Territory of Angoth. What's Territory of Angoth? Territory of Angoth. Oh. You just took like a duchy from some... No, you just took some land. You just uh, revoked some land. Okay. 13,000 men. He's coming straight for us. He can see us. He knows it's going to happen. So, yeah. Wait, he's not. He's not going to fight us. He's going to let us take attrition up here. Well, we have to take the attrition not really an option. Where's he going? He's just leaving. He's like, you have to fight us. That's not fair. I wanted this epic confrontation and he has ruined it by running away. Oh, he's coming for the fight. He's not sending his full army against us. That's what he's doing. He, sended, he, sent, his he sent the main army away to siege. To go get the war goal. He sent a very small regiment to come and fight us. Well, we'll destroy this regiment at the very least. Um, we're not destroying them. Is he... He's not evil anymore, technically. Um, yeah, we're losing more troops. Our army should be able to take him. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. There was the, the switch on. So we suddenly destroyed him. We, this battle shows we are brave. That's what it took. This battle. Okay. We destroyed your army. Well, your first army. It was a little bit worrying to start with, I'll admit. But we got a 9% war score. Head down here. We could head to his capital, but he's leading troops. Mm, I think we got to fight the battles. Uh, we are going to assault that back down, though. Just because we can while we're here. Get the war score. Do we chase down his army? I think we do. I think we chase him back into our lands. They're heading back up, are they? I thought they were. No, they're heading, they're heading further south. Where are they going? I'm very confused, actually, about their current strategy. They just seem to be taking attrition while heading south. Doesn't seem like a very good military strategy to me, but who knows? Maybe they know something I don't. I do want to... Oh, they're coming for me. Uh, where do we want to fight? Planes, 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 planes. Wait, where's our hills? This is all the open plains. I don't want to fight you in open plains. I want to fight you up there. Okay, we're going to try and lead them on. We're going to try and lead them on. We have a smaller army. We're more nimble. We keep, in theory. <laughs> We'll see if we can chase it. We'll get him to chase us back. Um, Alright, so he's going to head up this way. He should be in Allendor right now. If he is, if I head back this way, he will still have an idea of where I am. Oh, he's taking attrition. Taking more attrition, marching back to de-siege this land. Oh my god. AI, what is going on with you here? Come for an epic confrontation. My god. I'm gonna go to the province next to him. Just like, come on. Fight me. Don't run away. Don't run back home. Do I attack in... I don't really want to, them to attack us in Swanfleet. 
I'd prefer for them to attack us in Tharbat, to be honest, with the uh, river crossing penalty. Where's he going? Has he been attacked by someone else? He has. There's an uprising in his lands. Is there a time to strike back? We are going to lose land to that thousand man army, which is fair enough. Right, head back in. We're heading into Guathlolin. Right. Keep heading down. We can desiege this land. We'll uh, get it back under our control. We have taken war score yet? No, we don't get taken war score, I don't think, in a tributary war. Oh well. Salt that down. Assault that down. Head back over this way. We're almost at positive war score against an army that is ten times our size. Which I like. Okay. Uh, assault back. Assault back. Nice. Zero percent. Back to the start of the war. Okay. Head down here. We lost a siege, but that's alright. We'll get this land back. Keep heading south. Keep desieging all of this land. That's fine. Salt. 1% war score. We're over 1% in the lead. That's what I like to see. As we arrive here, the other army arrives and we get destroyed. Uh, not quite. Okay. 3% war score. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. And... A little bit more, 5%. Moving up there, we're moving up there. I'm not ending this episode until we end the war. That's my current stance on this. We are we are winning this war this episode, or we're losing it for this episode. There, there'll be no cliffhangers for next week. Right. Auto saving. Yep. Good auto save. No, we'll appreciate it. Um salt that down. 7%. We're going for their for their 1,000 man army. We're going to beat them up again. Right. We're not going to let them merge up. They're going to try to merge up with their bigger army. Not going to happen. Their defense pact opposing us has disappeared. Good. I mean, no reason for it to exist right now. Right. Gyroth. Let's attack into it. 9th of March, 21st of March when we arrive, they backed off. Okay, they know that we can beat them. Yep, head in here. This isn't even close. We will destroy them. There we go. Attack into their army. Their center fell almost instantly. Yeah, perfect. We have lost 84, but they lost 500. We're over 10% war score. That's the level they might white piece. They're not going to because they say give, they know that they have more men. They come from smaller farms. Some with a goat or a pig to sell. Some with only a few bushels of vegetables or fruits. Others with a whole wagon of produce. The peasants sell their produce inside the city walls, but the burghers protest against it and want to forbid it. Ooh. Um, I'll take our 1% revolt risk for a little bit of extra tax while we're at war. Seems sensible to me. I think I'm going to try and siege down. Oh, there's another 2,000 man army. That's perfect. If we can attack into that. That's what I like to see. Do not merge up with a bigger army. That is not what I want to see. 30th, 24th. We'll get there after they leave. So I think we're heading, we're heading down to Eisenflu. There we go. Okay. This isn't my ideal spot for a final fight. In fact, this one's a little bit better if we can get there. 20, 31st of July. 28th. 29th. 1st. 31st. We got a fight. Okay. Well, I think we buff up our center a little bit. And that's it. This is it. Will we win? Will we lose? Find out uh, right now because we're not going to end the episode. Uh, let's keep going. 24th of July. Oh my god, it's not even close. <laughs> that flank that we took men from lost pretty much instantly. Because that's where their leader was. Wow. Actually just destroyed. We haven't made it past this phase yet. But the first phase is our weakest. Yeah, our center is holding a little bit, but 
I mean, it's not really. Our left flank was holding, and now it's gone, and now... Oh, now we're gone. Well, there goes the last of our armies. Well, I mean, we get to keep our armies. That's a positive. It's a positive. It's going to take them a while to siege us down, but that, that was a tough loss. They won the siege of Morbit. Yeah. The, our only advantage in this war is that they have to siege some provinces one at a time, but while we're taking these shattered retreats, we can't really do much else. Yeah. Okay. New plan for winning the war. We head to Isengard. We hope to capture this guy, Prince Lurch. Or Lurch. It's a skin changer. But if we can capture him, that gives us enough war score to peace out of this war. Making a last ditch run through the hills, through the mountains. Running away from their army, or hiding from their army in the mountains. See whether we can get round here. Yeah, they're not even coming for us. They're, they're going for our capital, we're going for theirs. We need to capture their, uh, like, we need to capture their, their um, prince, basically. It's the only way we can do it. Okay. What is their capital anyway? Is it somewhere I, I recognize? It's probably somewhere like uh, Isengard. It is Isengard. There's a war in the Shire. Thane Paladin III is in a revolt. I'm sorry, hobbits. This is not the time for us to join your battles. We're a little bit busy here. You receive word that a massive orc horde is preparing to march against your lands. Let us hope we have the strength to repel them. I hate orcs. I think that seems like a fair you know, assumption there. I do hate orcs. This guy's raised an army of exiles to go and attack that land. Okay, sure, whatever. Not really my biggest worry right now. My biggest worry is this. This sieging stuff. Alright, we lost a citadel. That's alright, we can give away the citadel easily enough. We just uh, give away the lower province. There we go. Still heading up for their capital. Do we have we have enough men to siege? Just about enough men to siege. We are taking a ton of attrition. 7%, 7.2%, 7.25. So, yeah. We're getting there. Where's his army gone? Please tell me they're not coming back. They might be coming back for us. That would be worrying. 2% every 12 days. It's gonna be a long siege. Yeah. This is a last-ditch effort. Very much so. Where's his army gone? They must be coming back, right? We have no vision, but they must be coming back for this. We gotta hope for good siege events. Like, if we get a 10% uh, siege event against us, that's another 60 days on our siege. But if we get a good siege event, that's a 60-day off our siege, which... You know, seems real good. Where's his army? There's 2,000 men of his army coming for us. I think we can take these get these guys. Oh, it is plains, apparently, not mountains, despite the fact that it is on a mountain currently. You know, it's plains. Uh, they do take attrition from the... Well, not attrition. They do take a negative from the river crossing. We don't quite have the same number of men that we previously had, though. Their, their king is here. They're, they're a great warlord. There's a chance that something good comes of this. Our right flank is going to fall, but their sides fell first. Okay. So we're able to hold out. We're, we're, we're broken. We're like, we're beaten, but we're not broken. There we go. Destroy the rest of their army. We have enough to continue the siege. Okay. That was a good battle. That was a real good battle. Let's keep going. It's getting tense. Getting real tense. So. 72%. So that's another... 36 times 12 days. 35 times 12 days now. It's gonna take a while. And there's no guarantee it works. But they didn't send a full army against us, which is a positive. The rest of their army is over there. So the army that we have here is gonna keep going. And we also have enough money to sustain our retinues, which will reinforce us. I think that makes the retinues a better choice than the mercenaries. Because I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna beat them in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Especially not without, like, overwhelming terrain odds. Okay. 
I'm no longer gregarious. I'm no longer in a partying mood, which makes sense. It's a tense war. Okay. Another 22 times by 12 days to go. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, do we need a new commander? Probably have space for one. Put that guy in there. Was he leading our armies? Uh, can I even select the army here? Hmm, maybe that was a patch. Uh, maybe that was a patch after this where that came in. That's an odd, odd one. Just to see a mechanic that just isn't there. Um, okay, 18 day. Well, 18 times 12 days to go. Uh, if I could do very quick multiplication, I would give you the actual numbers, but I can't. There's the enemy planning to invade, the hillmen, along with the orcs that we've heard that are coming for our land. So, you know, a lot of stuff happening. If we win this war, there's a chance we can repel everyone else. Oh, they're coming for us again. If they lower our men below 642, that's a real problem for us. Because then we can't siege. We could assault, we could continue uh, sieging, but we just wouldn't go any further. We actually instantly went into um, melee phase with their center. Which I think has just destroyed this um, battle. Like, that's it. We've won it. We have enough men at the end of it as well. We lost 30 and they lost 850 men. Okay. We must have killed a ton of their men during this war. Like, this must not be doing well for their morale. For, like, of their average troops. Okay. Um, what have we got here? By that, I mean not like a game mechanic. Like, if this was a... If there was an army that had 10 times less troops than your army, and your army kept losing, you would be well afraid of them. Very afraid. Alright. 5 times 12. That's 60. See, I can do that one. That's a nice easy one. Okay, we're almost there. Now, 36 days to go. 24 days to go. It's less than a month. Alright. We are going to finish our siege. We did not capture this guy's son. That's a real bad thing there. It's like 0% chance that we capture him. But the fact that we didn't is really bad. The next one's going to take a while. The, the Ring of Heisinger. These are like all the, the toughest places to siege, aren't they? <laughs> the whole li list of them. Okay. Um... This episode's getting real long. I thought, kind of thought this war might end quicker than it did. I kind of thought they might either finish us off or we'd win our battle, but I have no idea. Uh, there's our conquest. Yeah, okay, so that's a, that's a thousand men of an orc horde just riding in at us. For, well, running in at us probably over here. Okay. What's happening to, uh, uh, to Galadriel? She is losing a holy war. To uh, Chief Shagrat, the Cruel of the High Pass. All right, let's keep going. Uh, oh, good siege event. See, that's sixty days off. Oh, but there's more people who are in this war. This is your war. So it looks like Rohan has joined a war against Isengard. Um, what's this one? Make for that's our, that's our one. What's the middle one then? Someone's got a host claim on Isengard as well. Okay, that like that might actually help. We'll see. This war is uh, okay. I saw that army and was like, "Well, there's the end of that war," but not quite. Not quite. We're still going. I heard several vicious rumors circulating about me. This guy is using the intrigue focus against us. This means he's going to try and kidnap and murder us. Well, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. So we got one person trying to kidnap and murder us. We got an orc horde. We got Isengard who have taken most of our land. Rohan is attacking Isengard for the chance at, you know, defending us. Well, at least that's in my head canon. That's why they've done it. But, yeah, okay. I don't like this army. It's just, like, pacing back and forth next to us. Hasn't decided whether it's going to attack yet. There's one troop. One singular troop who just forgot which way to go. Oh, 
you know, he's decided to stay here. He's quite happy with his life. Uh, we're still sowing distrust over in the uh, Witch King's land. He's the Witch King, isn't it? Um, it's like somebody underneath here. Yeah, the Witch King. I, I, I questioned myself for a moment. Uh, we have... Oh, we still have enough men to siege that, actually. That's fine. I was going to say we just had enough, but no, we're, we're, we're really good. We can siege that. Um, this invasion's gonna hurt. I can feel a little bit of hurt coming from that invasion. Okay. Rohan is going to beat up their army. That's kind of basically our hope. He's got 47,000 troops, so he does have enough to beat up his army. If he tries. Like, if he can destroy the army, that actually gives us a chance in this war. Because if we can siege their capital, get out and unsiege our land, we get ticking war score, I think, if they have none of our land. So that might actually work. This might be a winnable war. I, I'm, I'm going to stick to my word. We're not ending this episode till we end the war. It might be a very long time, but we're, we're not going to do... We're not going to end the episode till we end the war. Uh, let's see what we got here. 12th of April is when they have to decide whether, like, that's their last chance to declare the invasion. So they're probably declaring before then. These guys, have they actually done anything yet? Not really. They haven't even, like, arrived in our lands properly. Really. Need a new commander. Uh, put in that guy. Continue our siege. What's that? There's, there's the host claim war. Okay. Well, that's good. They, they, they look like they're hunting an army. Okay, new commander. That guy. 12th of April's getting real close. 45,000 men. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, we're in a very safe spot here, sieging down uh, the Isengard Tower itself. The hill men are attacking from the north. Oh, dear. Well... That's not very positive. Because we can't beat them either. But we have more chance of them against, than against Isengard. We got more people helping our siege. It's a 4% siege. That's twice as quick. I know, I know. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, the hillman has called uh, Sauron into the war. Oh. Oh, really? Um, that's just great, you know? You know, every I told you, this whole game was a powder keg. Like, this whole setup. And it just took a couple of simple moments for all to kick off against us. You know, that's not quite the way I saw it going. But, you know, it's the way it went. Is somebody sieging her? That must be up the north, right? Yeah, that's up the north. Where, oh, yeah, they're just taking the wilderness. They're just assaulting it. Okay. Down here, are we looking... Looking all right. What's our max number of men here? Still 18, uh, 1,800. That's that's all right. Yeah, we're gonna lose to the hillmen before we even like think about this uh, like this Isengard war more fully. Yeah. Oh wow. The amount of sieges we're losing. It's a, it's a tough one. Uh, putting a new commander. Um. Hey, new commander. Um, not a new commander, new chancellor. I don't know. Why don't you just do nothing? Just, for just now. There's nothing that you can do that's going to change what's happening. Um, your chancellor tried to encourage me to turn against my lord. I'm very unhappy about that, says the ring wraith. Oh no. Well, what can you do? I received word that your chancellor was trying to agitate the nobles in my realm. Rest assured, this outrageous behavior will not stand. Yeah, said the Witch King. Yeah, the Witch King sent us a very angry letter as his, you know, his answer to us. And it's probably sending men over to uh, help the hill men against us. There we are. 13,000. I'm seeing the end. It's all flat. Life is flashing before my eyes. But we have 6,000 this time. We are leading the 6,000 man army against their 13,000 man army. Because we're helping the host. 
we're helping the host uh, claim war against Isengard. So we actually have the very, very smallest of chances. Because we have a 6,000 man army. Now, now do they get our bonuses? Probably not, but they will keep us alive. Their left flank is falling. Our right flank is also falling, admittedly. If our center can hold... Ooh, our center's not gonna hold. Ooh, our center did not hold. You were separated from your men in the chaos of battle. And now you find yourself in the midst of war. As you scan the field, try and rejoin your forces, you see Captain Selback of the Ring of Isengard break through the enemy ranks and charge you. Okay. And he's married to his land, so you know you can tell he's serious. We're we're, we're gonna we're gonna fight him, one on one. He ran away. The warlord loses twenty percent morale, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We have lost the war. That's the end. It's a hundred percent. Scroll. There we go. We have lost. We're paying tribute to Isengard. We are broken. Our lands belong to the forces of evil. Well, not quite. Our lands belong to this guy. They don't belong to us. That's the important thing. And I think I'm going to end the series here. Thank you for watching. So, um, what are we going to do next time? I think what we're going to do... Um, so I'm going to change plans around a little bit. We're going to have a short break of Middle Earth series. We're going to go and play the new DLC next week. And then we will come back to the Middle Earth series uh, after that or after Elder Kings, whichever one ends first. So, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye.